You're listening to the September 14th, 2024 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello again. <laughs> my, my, how the days fly by. There were a few off comments last week. One saying you treat us like we were in spiritual kindergarten. Another, how bored they are of you saying the same thing. I'm not dismissing the lovely, uplifting comments, just wondered how you felt about the above. Dearest Blossom and all, to include those who are bored of these conversations, that which we choose to say is that which we feel will encourage and uplift you. Indeed, it is repetitive. One only has to look back on all these years of conversations, and yet, for us, the purpose in doing so is to assist you in understanding in as many ways as we are able who you are. We do not have the intention to speak down to you or to treat you as newbies to the matter of remembering your true soul self. We simply are here to encourage you to keep on track, for one can be so easily let down the pathways that do not serve. There is nothing new to say at this point. So, if you find these conversations tedious, then, as we have always said, we ask you to move along to conversations with others that are more suited to your needs. Those who find upliftment here, then we so enjoy continuing on. In the knowing that the more we speak of same, the more you are receiving it on a higher level of understanding, which so many of you understand. We do not take offense. Nor do I, for I too can understand both points of view. However, so many, like me, find within these conversations the strength to keep going. None of us know the outcome of all of this in detail. We just feel that we're on track when we feel in alignment with that which you have to say. This is why we continue, Blossom. This is why you continue, because you know that this service we offer makes a vast difference to so many. Correct. Sometimes I wonder why we keep going, saying the same thing, and then I might get the most poignant email saying your words have kept them on the planet. And as White Cloud says, if you can turn but one head around towards the light, then you have done well. So, onward we go. Let not the voices of ego bring you into a place of misunderstanding the self. You are so wise each one of you. You hold within you all knowledge, all wisdom. It is the programming that has relentlessly bombarded your minds with everything that does not serve, in order for those whose desires are to manipulate and pull you down to the level of unworthiness. In this way, the mind remains in a state of underestimating the power of true love. This is why we repeat over and over, find your power, recognize it. Those who think we are condescending have misunderstood our message, for we are aware that even though so many are awake and indeed been waking for many years, there is still not the knowing of just exactly how powerful you are. It has been removed from your acknowledgement of self. There is a time when one realizes the necessity to tune into that power and allow it to come forth from within. It is so very easy for us to say, keep shining your light. Yet these are simply words. You may think you do, and you do, to the best of that which you know yourselves capable of. Yet... We wish you understand and accept that this light that you are is way more powerful and effective than you consider it to be. That is why we keep reminding you. In the trusting that each reminder, another layer of screening, breaks away to reveal another layer of your powerful light. 
I get what you're saying. I'm sure we all do. Yet we can only do the best we can from the place where we understand ourselves to be. We know we can perform miracles. We know we're capable of so much. Yet the only way to put it is not yet. Because we would be doing so right now if we were of that level and power of understanding. So obviously we're not there yet. I'm aware I'm not putting this across very well and that I've said all this before. It's just the way these conversations flow. Like us, Blossom, you are doing your best. You are currently residing in a vibration that keeps the light at bay, would we say. It is by a constant state of being, a constant state of knowing that does not falter, that allows the light that you are to do what it must do. When we say, do not underestimate your power, we mean it in various ways. Do not think that when you consciously send out your love to the world, or a person, or a circumstance, that it has little to no effect. You know this is not so. Perhaps what you are unaware of is the amazing change that takes place by you doing so. This is what we mean. Be aware of the power of yourself and the difference this inner power, when focused upon, can make. One has to leave behind the undervaluing of the living soul that you are. Take into account, for instance, the miracle of the human body and the world that it is within itself. The mastery of this design is indescribable. Then take into account that you, the soul, the essence of you, the magnificent light that you are, was able to enter into this miraculous world of the physical body and bring it into being so that it may serve you in a million and more ways. You serve each other. Yet, let it be known that the more you become one with this housing of choice, the more it recognizes the way you can use it to serve the whole. As you align with each other, the body and soul, the blending of such, brings about a teamwork like no other. As you love the body and its great workings, the body in turn loves you back. It recognizes the great workings of light that can be brought forth by the two merging together to manifest a greater power entering in from the soul's higher perspective. Hmm, let me read that back. Okay, as you were. We would liken it to a plug going into a socket. All is in place. The switch just needs to be turned on. And lo and behold, the light that was there all along can be seen. So your point being... Light. The light that you are in fullness, the full and complete light of you, is always there within you. It cannot not be. For you are that light. However, when you consciously merge your soul self and the miraculous world of your body into a complete unit, the body is able to bring forth your light through itself and allowing that energy of the light that you are to radiate out from you. I know this is making sense, yet difficult to put into words. So basically, are you saying that by being aware of this integration, it has a greater effect than if we were not? Yes. Your light shines out anyway, for your light comes from your spiritual heart. Yet to allow the body and soul to work together as one, can bring about a higher power. You want to say, from your very fingertips. We do. So, do we just chat to the inner workings, tell them the plan? You thought we would say otherwise, Blossom. Yet you are correct. 
However, the chatting does not come through words. It comes through feeling the knowing of this truth. When this feeling feels the truth of the words that we have said in ways of trying to explain, and just allows the acceptance of both parties to fall into place, there shall occur a noticeable difference in the way one feels, both in body and soul. I have to go now, as this seems to be taking longer than the usual hour. Hopefully, I'll pick up again tomorrow. Thanks, guys. An interesting chat. Good morning once again. I've just reread yesterday's chat. Is it that we need to work on this blending of body and soul, or just know it? Good morning, once again, Blossom. You are correct in a sense. We would say you need to work on the knowing. And how do we do that? We would suggest that when you say the mantra, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. You incorporate the feeling of the truth, of the knowing. And how do we do that? By fully, totally, trusting that who you are comes from elsewhere. You are not from this planet. You are visiting. You are here on a mission. That which you are, when not in human form, is pure light. Within that light is the gift of unlimited power. That when used for the greater good of all, works the miracles we have been speaking of. When you fully grasp this and allow it to work in your favor, you will find yourself, your being, your truth, your you, feeling the knowing we have been speaking of. This understanding will take your lives to a different level, a different frequency. You will be able to feel yourselves vibrate, as if one could almost see the energy field that is emanating from within. It is a matter of talking to your inner workings that creates the entire existence of every cell that allows you to be. As if perhaps you recognize the agreement you made to merge into one and the same light in order to profoundly change the way you conduct your every moment. Can I ask how come this has never been mentioned before? You can ask, Blossom and we shall answer. As we have said, as you yourselves are aware, the change within your understanding of you has reached heights that, further back along your journey, were not fully understood. As one integrates wisdom into the knowing and truth, the soul recognizes each phase it enters, as it progresses into a higher version of what it already knows itself to be and yet has had to patiently allow acceptance of each phase to know itself fully. If you were to suddenly wake one morning, and all your growth had occurred overnight, your body, mind, and soul would not be able to function normally. For everything would be one mass of all that is, and one would not know how to function in the normality of what one knew to be normal. When we say growth, understand that we use this as a term to explain your coming into being of the fullness of knowing who you truly are. A seed, when planted, knows it is going to shoot roots from its essence. These roots, in turn, allow the stems to grow. From there, a bud forms, and from there, when ready, it blossoms into the flower it knew it was always going to be. It is the same for you, a process, 
in order to have your roots planted deep within. From there, although always knowing who you are to become, because you are already it, it is simply a matter of letting the growing into the self take place. Nice analogy. My mind can totally get what you mean by merging the soul and body into the one light. To me, it seems as if the body, when working with the soul light, acts as a booster pack. Indeed, Blossom. Therefore, we encourage, as many are doing, to treat your body with the respect it deserves. Give gratitude for all its accomplishments. Look after it. Feed it well. And here we would say, the greatest food you can offer it is your love. How often, the minute one has an ache or pain or malfunction, does one moan and groan and blame? Remember the magnificence of this creation of the human body. We do not need to tell you this. It speaks for itself. So, serve it in the best way you can. The more you look after it in all ways, the more you can feel lighter energy flowing through you. You are not designed to grow old and for all your bits and pieces to fall apart. This is programming. The deterioration of the physical body does not happen because it was designed that way. Deep down inside you know this. So, with love, we finish this transmission for today. Be aware of what we have said. This is all you need to do. Be aware and allow the understanding of such to transform your energies to the next level of your being. Well, how lovely. Thanks so much. I shall do as you suggest. I'm sure we all will. So much love to you. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. Indeed, you are. Just to say, the next Tribe of Light call will be on the 28th of September, 9am Brisbane time. And the link will be in the description box below to register. Also, if you'd like to register for the new Just Blossom intentional email journey, whereby you uh, just pay $5 and then for... Um, the next 42 days you'll get a card in your email um, from apparently wonderful words of wisdom that has come out of my mouth. <laughs> so please go to the description box below for all these things. Many, many thanks people. Have a good week.